Straight Up DC, it is 608, 33 degrees outside. It is time for Straight Up. This is where I get my thoughts on the news of the morning. Now this morning, I have great news for 80s babies and terrible news for actual babies. The good news is Murphy Brown is returning to television after a 20 year hiatus for 20 episodes with Candace Bergen in tow. The bad news is Toys R Us plans to close up to 182 stores as part of its Chapter 11 bankruptcy restructuring. Now, in the short term, this is great because of out of business sales. I'm gonna be buying toys for my kids to give them in like in 20 years. But long term, it's depressing. I don't wanna live in a world where Murphy Brown has a job, but Jeffrey the Giraffe does not. Call me old school, but I think kids actually like seeing the toys that they want in person and taking them home that day instead of having to look at JPEGs of them on some website or having to wait for UPS or FedEx. Still, Amazon had the lion's share of baby and toy products sold online in the US with 2.16 billion in sales, that was in 2016, as opposed to a relatively meager 912 million of online sales for Toys R Us. Now usually I'm all for streamlining and cheaper prices, but every child deserves to have the experience of going to a toy store, losing his or her mind, then begging their parents like the world is coming to an end for something shiny. Now, I also feel how I do about Murphy Brown because Hollywood is getting so lazy. So Fuller House worked, so now we're getting a Roseanne reunion as well as bringing back Murphy Brown. Somewhere, Reginald Bell Johnson is yelling out Steve Urkel's name in anger right now so they can be prepared for Family Matters to come back as well. Now, let us know what you think about Murphy Brown returning as well as Toys R Us's financial troubles on social media using the hashtag GetUpDC.